Alrighty, coming off of a loss, so the streak starts anew. Fortunately, this kingdom looks quite strong at a glance, so it should be a far cry from yesterday's big money game. All empires. Plenty of villages, plenty of draw. Uh, only one trasher, but temple should do the trick. We got a good bit of plus buy, farmer's market villa. Uh, fortune from gladiators plus buy. Bustling village hiding under the settlers is an extra action card. Uh, yeah, but we need to build here. Also a lot of extra points to go around between chariot race, farmer's market, temple, uh, the emporiums underneath patrician, uh, conquest. So lots of extra points, castles, lots of lots of extra points, big engine. The goal here I think pretty clearly is get thin, get a bunch of action cards, pretty soon your city quarters are drawing your whole deck quite trivially, and then buy lots of stuff. Uh, the four is definitely Temple, probably the best three to pair with it is Chariot Race. I think if the draw were something different besides a City Quarter, Encampment could look like a good opening, just the one shot plus two cards, uh, and then it returns itself to the pile. But I think I would rather have a cantrip that sticks around, given that I eventually want a high action density in my deck for City Quarters. Uh, would have loved to hit Temple there, but no dice. Not sure which two is best. Again, I think I want one of the not encampment ones because they stick around. They're both pretty darn close to blank cantrips though. Patrician has like no targets here. <laughs> there's no five costs. Well, there's actually tons of five costs, but they're all hiding. Plunder, Emporium, Bustling Village, Small Castle. So like late in the game, Patrician eventually has targets. I think that's still better. Settlers just activates shockingly rarely just because you so seldom actually have a discard pile. And certainly late in the game I won't have coppers around anymore or settlers to hit. So like this one maybe hits once before it becomes a, a pure cantrip, whereas Patrician never hits early and maybe hits late. It's a close call, I think. Both are pretty equally eh. Chariots. Oh, this is a mistake. I definitely should have bought one of these. I'm gonna want Farmer's Market and or Gladiator pretty soon. That's the payload with the city quarter. And I should have paid attention. Like, just looking at this hand, temple, three stop cards and a chariot race. If I bought one of these and then I play this chariot race, like there's some chance that I would draw that off the top. But what's much more likely is I would have drawn one of my junk cards and then I would leave a deck that's just the the other terminal and all my other junk. Basically my shuffle is oriented in a way that like I would have two terminals in the deck, and they'd just be very unlikely to collide, um, which would have been a good time to add a second terminal. Mm, Gladiator is more money, probably like two and a half on average, depending on whether they have a good target. Farmer's Market is like two money on average, but in a way that like the first one's worth less. It goes like one, two, three, four, zero. Um, but the plus buy is probably worth having, so I think Farmer's Market's the answer. See here, it, it just works out more awkwardly because now I'm going to trigger a shuffle and the temple and the farmer's market are on the same half of the shuffle and that's kind of my fault. But I wasn't punished for it. I drew exactly one of them. Uh, city quarter already? I, hmm. Hmm. Could be City Quarter now, I'm pretty thin. I could need it as soon as next turn to play the Temple plus the Farmer's Market. Could also be Gladiator now. I think I like Gladiator now. If they collide, I can always buy a Villa, and then I can buy a City Quarter at end of turn. Yeah, this looks fine. Uh, the bot has one copy of each of these, and it's a fresh shuffle, so I have no way of knowing. That's not what I meant to click. I meant to click the trash. It's more copper, so copper is definitely not the answer. Uh, I just take a random gamble. There's no way of knowing which of these it is more likely to have. I chose wrong. Or maybe maybe neither was going to hit. They could both be in hand. You never know. Uh, I think it's just another cantrip in a city quarter. Could be just the city quarter so I get out of debt sooner. Um, I think the cantrip's worth it. What's the bot doing? I haven't paid attention. 
It's got Temple, City Quarter, Chariot Race, Farmer's Market. Eh, that looks like a pretty good deck. <laughs> looks like my deck. <laughs> and a Gladiator in City Quarter. Yeah, bots doing pretty similar stuff. You know what I probably want next? Windfall. Not the strongest thing on average, but here I'm going to have a bunch of draw pretty soon once my City Quarter um, gets good and my coppers go away. And then an easy way to add payload back to the deck is just draw the deck by windfall once and you add three golds and that's a lot of money right there. Uh, sad copper. <laughs> I think I, this is a close call. I think I'd rather pay off most of the debt. Uh, would have been nice if I could have found the city quarter earlier on. Like this would be a lovely hand to have yet last turn. But better late than never. Another farmer's market, another city quarter. I, I don't know about this third city quarter. That seems a little bit going into too much debt there at that point. Okay, so. Once again, I have. Oh no, the answer is Villa. But doesn't have a Villa yet. Um, ooh, I don't want this one. I, that's nasty. I really wanted the four money one. I'm not even gonna bother playing that. I just kill my payload. I'd rather, rather the bot kill its farmer's market. Uh, well, Windfall now is suddenly a lot less exciting. I want to do Windfall plus Villa, then I can gain and play the, the golds. So maybe just a city quarter here. If I take two debt, can I hit 11 next turn? E I need 11 for, for Windfall plus Villa. I guess what we'll do is Windfall plus city quarter. Gold on top, that's all right. Gotta play the city quarter first so it draws two. I would love to play chariot race knowing there's a gold on top. See, like the turn you've got three city quarters in your deck, you wanna have payload. And so you really want windfall. And now the bots can be at least one turn, maybe two turns slow to buying that windfall, or fortune for that matter. Uh, well, that's a sad draw. <laughs> Goodness gracious. This is just all of my treasures? I think this is a really unlikely dud. I'm pretty, pretty sure my deck does a lot better than this on average. But that also means next turn is going to be phenomenal. I want another Farmer's Market. I wonder if the bot's even going to bother playing it. Does it just get stuck on four victory points because no one wants to kill their Farmer's Market? I don't know. Uh, I want the plus buy though, so I'm going to buy it and just hope the bot plays at the farmer's market. I'll kill mine if I need to. <laughs> what you got? Encampment, okay, you got me. Fair play. That doesn't make sense. Like I have an encampment in my deck. I just bought one, but the bot can know with certainty. I don't have it in my hand because I haven't shuffled my deck since I bought it. More farmers markets. Okay. Okie dokie. Deck in hand. Bot has farmers market on top. Got a lot of extra draws. So we're definitely doing something with Villa here. Uh, let's reveal Patrician. Villa, Farmer's Market, Farmer's Market, Temple. Into actions, okay. So probably the correct answer here is Fortune Villa, right? I take 16, 
I, I can't even afford that actually. <laughs> Never forget I said anything. Well, I, I could. Let me reconsider. Uh -huh. So the trouble with Fortune Villa is like you get to gain and play the fortune, but after playing all your money, so the fortune is doubling essentially nothing. So like even if I untrashed the copper, played twenty exactly, bought fortune, paid off the debt, bought villa. I would get a free gold off of my one gladiator, so I'd have six money after that, which is, that's okay. I do really want a fortune. So maybe the better line is to gain and play something else and then buy fortune for eight at end of turn. It's like, what if I did something like Farmer's Market, Windfall, Villa? I'd definitely draw all of that. In fact, I'd draw more than all of that because these patricians are going to hit gold. Um... Yeah, obviously I can't do it in that order, because you have to buy the windfall first. But I definitely like this. Do I want to add anything else to that shuffle? I don't want to buy another farmer's market, because then I would pop it, and I want to leave the $4 one for the bot. I can buy one more thing, maybe just a chariot race, pretty likely to activate. I think I'm feeling Chariot Race Fella. And this still easily gets me to 8. Are you kidding? <laughs> there are 3 golds down there. And, uh, I drew Chariot Race Farmer's Market off the top. Okay, well so be it. So I can gain and play one more thing if I wanted to. The thing would be Farmer's Market. Like if this were at 3 instead of 4, I'd buy Farmer's Market Villa, draw it one more time. I think instead we go Fortune City Quarter, probably. Could also be Encampment Fortune. I think I like City Quarter better. In which case the order of these I don't think really matters. Happy Hand. I think the bot's just too slow to payload. Um, it was a little bit over aggressive, I think, with the city quarters taking debt. The third city quarter, I think, seemed a little bit inopportune, right? And then it's reliant on these farmers markets, and it's getting pinned on the the four dollar one. Not the four dollar one, the four victory point one. Encampment. And you got me there. All right, you've killed your farmer's market. My condolences. Do you even have eight? Yeah, Bosch is dead. You can buy fortune next turn, but that's just too slow. Oh, you jerk. You've got a gold on top. I guess let's play these now then. Villa. Reveal Patrician. Kill my final copper. Farmer's Market, Farmer's Market, Farmer's Market. End actions. Oh no! Oh no, I only have seven buys. There's no way to net gain buys here, right? Like, buying Farmer's Market plus Villa, drawing and playing the Farmer's Market, that's all buy neutral. But I don't have a way to uh, net myself buys. Uh, can I pile out here? Farmer's Market, Villa, City Quarter would probably be the piles. That's how much money. So if I buy two farmers markets in a villa, I play those, I only get one money back, which is not a whole lot. So I'm otherwise paying the full price. So 12, I should just add these. There's 12 cards in these piles, so they cost three each. Villa effectively costs three because you get one money back. So it's 36 minus one, 35, plus, okay, that's easily enough. It's gotta be these piles because they're Villa and Farmer's Market are buy neutral. Well, the Farmer's Markets that I played were buy neutral. These Farmer's Markets won't be. I have enough money for, I think, all sorts of piles. But these ones are going to be the ones that I can afford in terms of number of buys. Mm. 
<laughs> sure, let's take a 13 victory point temple if I must. Okay. Yeah, the bot had the right idea. I think it didn't have the right execution. Got Temple early, clicked the action cards, clicked the city quarter. I think it was taking debt at slightly wrong times and then getting tripped up on the farmer's markets. Um, but otherwise, you know, right direction. <laughs>